I quite often get requests to be able to do some demos on how do you fix some special problems. Well, here we've got a beautiful young couple here, and if we notice, we look at his eyes here. You can see he's got he's got the photo ray. Um, eyeglasses on that went dark when we went outside and photographed. So I thought I'd show you how to be able, how we can actually go through and fix that. So we're going to show you a couple different techniques and how we can work with that. Well first of all I'm going to go over here to my studio retouching palette and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click to be able to create a retouching layer. You can see we duplicated the background layer and named it retouching layer. Well next what I want to do is I actually want to go through and I want to start working on these uh, glasses. So we're going to zoom in uh, so I can get a better look here. And we're going to use the Quick Select tool. Um, this is a, a pretty neat tool in Photoshop. It's a very, very innovative tool. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go in here. I'm just going to take and I'm going to adjust the brush size here. And all that I need to do is I'm going to simply go through here and I'm going to start working around the sunglasses here. If I hold my shift key, I can actually add to the selection here. Notice how when I let go of the mouse here, or let go of my pin here, how it kind of goes and actually sucks down in a little bit tighter. I'm going to make my brush smaller and I'm going to hold my alt or option key. When you notice when I hold that, see how that turns the cursor into a minus so I can actually go in here and I can tighten up uh, some things to be able to tighten up my selection. This is just pretty fast. There's at least a nice fast way to be able to select. I want to get rid of an area here. I'm going to wipe across it right into here and it'll take and make the adjustment. I'm going to come down here underneath just under the skin there just a little bit. There we go. We're going to let it refresh to be able to just see what it's going to do. Now here I need to add just a little bit so I'm just going to hit that just a touch to really get it to add. Again, hold the Option key, and I want to select there. Okay, we're getting really, really close on our selection here. Let's go over here, take out a little bit there, and then I've got it over here on this iframe, so we're going to take and wipe over here. All right, we're doing pretty good now. We've got a pretty decent selection there. Uh, one little spot sticking out there, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Now I'm going to go up and use my Refine Edge. When I, ref I use my Refine Edge, this actually allows me to be able to take and see uh, exactly what's happening with my selection. I've got various different views here where I can go through. I've got a mask view. I'm going to use this um, black view here and what we're going to do is, is the radius up here where we're going to refine the edge is actually how it's going to take and actually um, go through and start uh, smoothing out my my edges for me. I want to go in here and then we're going to take make some adjustments in here. I want to let it update this uh, contract here. If we look here we can see how um, there it is at zero but I'm actually going to start pulling it in. I want to bring that selection in just a little bit uh, and then let's take it in there just about more so we're kind of almost on the inside of the the glass frames there, that's looking pretty good. I got a feather radius um, here. I've got just about 0.6 pixels, and again, that's giving me some softness. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK, and that gives me my refined selection there. Well, at this point, I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer, but all I have to do is go over to my studio retouching palette, and I'm going to click on levels adjustment layer. What happens now is going to make the levels adjustment layer, but it's actually going to only apply it right to. Uh, the area that we had selected. So now all that I have to do is go into my gamma or midtone slider and look what I can do here. Look how I'm actually able to be able to go in and take and adjust the density there. I can actually make this lighter, darker. We can vary it out quite a bit. Well you can see there's some detail information. You can see there's actually myself and my assistant there uh, actually in the photograph and I, I really don't want that. So in this case it's going to be um, a little bit easier for me to actually go through and take and start dropping in a, another set of eyes. But in many cases I could actually get away with this that I could take and I could just lighten those up and it would be um, plenty good enough. Well in order to drop the other set of eyes in there what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab another image here. So I've got another image uh, selected here and we're going to grab this one and all I'm going to do, you can see I've got a selection already uh, marquee over the set of eyes. So I'm going to hit my V tool and I'm just going to drag it over on to this image. I'm going to tap my F key again and that brings me back up to my full screen mode. Well sometimes it's a little bit tricky to be able to get everything set to be able to um, do the correct sizing because the poses were actually different uh, but his eyes were pretty much his head was kind of facing it's turned a little bit differently but we need to make some quick adjustments there well what I need to do in order to be able to uh, 
to make this work is I need to get some guidelines here. Well, I want to go into this mask and I'm going to edit this just a little bit more. I want to be able to take a look and see what I can um, to see the size of the eyes there. So what we're going to do is first of all, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my controller command R and that turns on my rulers. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to draw right in the corner of the eye there and I'm going to put a guideline to the corner of the eye right there. That's going to give me something to help me size the eye. Actually, we're going to move this one out. We're going to come right out to about to there. Let's go right about there. There we go. So now that gives me a size. Well, the next thing I want to do is I want to uh, take it. I need to be able to set the diagonal correctly. Well, the way that I'm going to do this, we're actually going to go ahead and I am going to um, add a new layer here and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab my line tool. My line tool is actually located underneath my uh, custom shape tool. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go in I'm going to look for this corner of the eye and I'm going to take my line and I'm going to draw it right through that corner of the eye. Now I put that on a totally separate layer so we're not actually drawing right on a layer. So let's go ahead and hit my V key to get to my move tool. I'm going to grab this set of eyes here let me get my guidelines up above there. And now what I can do is I'm going to take and align this corner of the eye right to here. And then we're going to go through and hit my controller command T. Well, I want to pivot the angle to get it correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my center point right out to this point here so I can pivot right at that point. And we're going to go ahead and grab the corner. And now I'm going to take and pivot the eye to be able to get the angle exactly the way. So now I can take and I can reproduce that size there. Well next we need to go through and I want to make a little bit of an adjustment onto the size and I actually did my uh, adjustment on the other size to my line to right about here. So I'm going to hold my shift key and now I'm going to grab the corner and I'm actually going to pull this out to be able to get that eye sized correctly. So now we can go ahead and pull that up into position there and we're going to go ahead and click it and I should be real real close so if we move out here we go we can take a look and see here you can see my nose is, is pretty close right there well what I want to do is we're going to go ahead and turn off that area with the line and we can take and we can turn this layer on and off well what happens is I need to be able to take and get those uh, eyes back in there so what I can do is we can go ahead and I can move to my layer that contains my eyes and I'm adjust the visibility of that layer to be able to look and see where everything's falling in there. Actually we're looking pretty good right there. That looks good there. Well what I want to do is I actually need to clip off that extra information but I've already got a mask there that I built for my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click my command key. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a command shift I to actually inverse the selection. Now I've actually selected, you can see the outside now is selected. I'm going to go back. I'm on my layer with my eyes there and I'm going to go ahead and hit my delete key. And what that does is that goes ahead and it takes away, cuts off the excess information for the eyes. Now I could have quick masked it but I'm just going to cut them right out of there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply go in and I can just simply adjust the opacity of that layer, bring back a little bit of the reflection. You can see I'm at 65%, so I've got the new set of eyes actually laying on top of my glasses there. So we brought back the density, dropped in the new set of eyes, and we've got our eyes all finished. So let's go back in our history and we can take a look here. So if I go back to my original image, there's my image my original with the dark glasses and there we are we've actually uh, fixed it pretty quickly hope you've enjoyed this video I'm Ron Nichols